So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a few of the differences between per mile pay, paid by the hour, and straight pay, or flat pay, or per load pay, or per drop pay, or trip pay, or hat pay, or pet pay. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys, um, I've been a truck driver for seven years, but I've never really been a company driver. So I've had the experience of getting paid several different ways as a truck driver, but it was always on the independent side. It was never on the company driver side. But I'm gonna share with you a few of the pros and cons of some of the ways that truck drivers get paid in this video. So how I get paid right now as an owner operator is by the ton. And for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna group by the ton pay, flat pay per load or per drop basically, and percentage pay, because that's another way that truck drivers get paid. I'm gonna kind of group all that in the same category. In other words, you can break down trucker pay basically into three categories. You can get paid by the hour, you can get paid by the mile, or you can get paid by the drop. And percentage pay, straight pay per drop, or per ton pay, how I get paid now, that's kind of all based on getting paid by the drop. You're not getting paid for miles, you're not getting paid by the hours, you're only getting paid when you drop a load. The main pro, I would say, of that type of pay is you're probably getting the most out of all of the different kind of ways that truck drivers get paid. You're probably getting the most per load when you look at that way of getting paid per load. Um, another pro that I like about getting paid per load, this may actually not apply to everyone. Um, I'm not OTR, but regional guys, this may apply to, and some local guys, this will apply to. Um, staying loaded both ways, being able to do a backhaul. If you get paid per load, and that's percentage pay, that is uh, per load pay or per ton pay, like I do, by the way, um, and you can do backhauls and you can stay loaded both ways, then that's gonna increase how much you can make a lot. Now, if you contrast that with um, per mile pay, if I'm going 100 miles out and 100 miles back, and um, um, it don't, you know, my per mile pay could be $3 a mile, you know, that's $600, no matter whether I'm loaded both ways or not. As far as percentage pay, you know, if you got a good rate, then percentage pay is good because you're getting a percentage. The con of percentage pay is, for some reason, if the rate isn't up on what you're hauling or shipping costs is down or whatever, you know, you, you can you can get less. You could be running the same load, but you can be getting paid fluctuating prices on that load, depending on something that's out of your control, which is the cost of shipping what you're shipping or the actual cost of what it is that you're shipping. Even the shipping cost or the actual cost of the commodity could fluctuate and that could affect what you see at the end of the day because you're getting a percentage. So percentage can go up and down, but I've never really heard of flat pay or just a flat rate per per drop or per ton pay for that matter. I've never really heard of those going down. Percentage pay can fluctuate up or down, but I've never really heard of the other two ways going down. My pay per ton has gone up over the last year because of economic conditions. And if you're getting paid a flat rate per drop, again, I can see that going up over time. You guys that may have uh, ever experienced a rate drop that's getting paid basically by the load, let me know about that down in the comments. But I'm thinking that's pretty much only gonna be percentage that would experience a rate drop. Another thing with those types of pay, percentage pay, pay by the load and pay per ton is you're not getting paid for miles. You're getting paid by the drop. So I talk about being able to do a backhaul. If you got to run some deadhead miles to get your backhaul, you're not getting paid for those miles. And also those types of pay doesn't take into account your time necessarily. We all know as truck drivers, there's a lot of things that you might have to do in transporting freight from point A to point B that don't necessarily involve the miles or the dropping of the freight. And if you're getting paid a flat rate by the load or percentage or by ton, you you know what I mean? Like you're not getting compensated for your time, okay? So that's a few of the pros and cons about that kind of way of getting paid. And that's actually that my favorite way of getting paid out of all of the different ways I've gotten paid as a truck driver. I've gotten uh, paid per mile before as a truck driver. Per mile pay is simple, it's easy to figure up. You get paid X amount of dollars per mile, you go X amount of miles, 
real simple to figure out. That's why a lot of drivers like that. It's like that. It's, it's easy to, to keep track of. The thing about uh, per mile pay that can, can make it complicated is not all companies actually pay your actual miles, you know, like your hub miles. Um, some companies pay in different ways. So you want to be aware of how the company that, if they're paying you by the mile, you want to be aware of whether you're getting paid for all your miles um, or not. If you're getting paid zip code to zip code, you might not be getting paid all of your miles. If you're getting paid post office to post office, you might not be getting paid um, all of your miles. I've heard that the companies that don't necessarily pay on actual miles or hub miles have other ways of compensating that. Again, you want to these are these are things you will want to know before you get on with a company. Um, how they actually pay, how they actually figure figure their miles, whether they're paying on actual miles, hub miles, or whether they um paying on some other kind of way. I've heard about companies that pay on air miles. Right? I, I can't really imagine that. Like air miles are straight, and if you run in you know, back and forth like that to get from point A to point B, you're driving miles that you're not getting paid for. So again, you want to be aware of that. That's not a deal killer because if your company is compensating you in other ways to make up for the fact that they're not paying actual miles, you know, all things are relative. You got to factor that in too. As far as per hour pay, this is what most drivers say they would like to be paid by the hour um, because you're being paid for all your time. Don't matter whether you're stuck at a shipper or a receiver or whether you're waiting in line like I am right now. Um, to get loaded, you can be paid for all your time. That's the thing people love about getting paid hourly. I don't like the concept of getting paid hourly. Me personally, I know a lot of guys are going to disagree with me on this one. And if I'm wrong on this one, let me know down in the comments. But I would think that a company that's paying hourly is going to want more control of your time. They're going to want to be right on top of what you're doing during each one of those 60 minutes <laughs> during that hour. I would imagine that that's how it is. If it's right, if I'm wrong about that, let me know um, down in the comments. But I would definitely assume that that type of company that's paying by the hour, they ain't gonna be paying you for slack it off. So they gonna want, they're gonna be on top of you, what you're doing on a, on, you know, on a, on a, on an ongoing regular basis. I personally wouldn't like that. Uh, that's really the, the main downside to our, to, to hourly. And also, I would also say hourly is probably the lowest out of all the different ways that I've talked about of getting paid, the three different ways. Um, hourly per load, per drop, per loads done, hourly is probably getting paid, probably getting the, the smallest amount of the pie. But, you know, the uh, other side of that is they're getting paid for all their time, right? So different pay, it, it Different pay is going to be better in different types of situations, right? A short haul situation, um, I would think, would be better to pay by the load as opposed to by the by the mile. If you're going to be, you know, in and out of facilities all day, or you know, held up by traffic all day, you want to be more conscious of being paid for your time. If you're going to be in a situation where you're going to be able to ride. I would assume you might want to be, you know thinking more or less of uh the miles that you're going to cover overall so there's a lot more there's a lot more to it i think if i was a company driver i'd probably want to be paid in a combination of ways i'd want to be paid i like being paid um a flat rate well, well I, again i like i get paid by the ton but we'll categorize it as a, a flat rate per load I, i'd want to be paid by the drop i think i enjoy that the best obviously i like being able to have i, I like being able to do back hauls if I couldn't do back hauls, that might would factor in. But I think I'd want to be paid for the drops that I do, um, and some type of flat pay or some type of hourly pay for anything that I have to do that doesn't involve the drop or doing, you know, doing the miles. I want to have a pay structure that's gonna compensate me for all the time that I put in when I'm when I'm in somebody else's truck. These are things you want to be thinking about and talking about with the company that you're thinking about getting on with because this directly impacts how you how you get paid. And this is what a lot of companies depend on drivers not knowing. This is this is where the nickel and diming um, meets the road, right? So you you drivers that um, have experience with this, that they've been paid a variety of different ways um, in your trucking career, and you've seen great pay plans or great compensation plans or great ways for truck drivers to get paid, and you've seen less than good ways for truck drivers to get paid. Give me some of those details down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think on this subject.